It's a mad uncharted world, but does it cause aggression? This week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 156, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? All right, guys, I need you to brace yourself. Okay, I bet you didn't okay. play as many right. games as you played last week. I didn't know. Wait, I wait, did, wait, wait. I did not play as many games as I did last week. Um, okay, but right. what right. I did will blow your mind. What? Oh. We bought a Wii U. <gasps> yeah. Oh, you, I got a, you, bought, you bought a zoo? I bought a Wii U. <laughs> we bought a Wii U, I should say. That was um, a terrible joke. It was. <laughs> it was very bad. Um, and you know what? I was completely wrong about it yeah. all. All good, of good it, job. I was wrong. Yeah, um, that's the same reason. That's the same thought I had when I bought it. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I don't have the money for one. Wrong about the uh, the entirety of the Wii U. Um, we got the Splatoon pack. Um, it came with a download of Splatoon, and then I went out and got uh, Super Mario 3D World. Hmm. Uh, hmm. And that alone is what made me. Seriously, consider getting a Wii U, um, the, the Super Mario 3D World. Uh, Mario Kart is amazing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got a Wii U. Um, I love the Wii U. I am not even upset that I had to buy a new controller for us to play two-player with Splatoon. <laughs> um, because you know what? It's a pretty damn sweet controller. Uh, it, it's not it's not an official Nintendo controller, but the see-through has blue neons. Ooh. All it all that's missing is uh, some spinners. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. controller. Are you are you gonna get Mario Maker? Oh yeah, that's another reason why we got it. Um, it the concept of Mario Maker is just amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't make up for the fact that there's no uh, Legend of Zelda for the, the Nintendo Wii U, but it does. Mm-hmm. Chachi, you can always buy uh, Hyrule Warriors. Right. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's... Oh, I, Windmaker. No. Bobby, I will reach through my no. camera. Right <laughs> no. Windmaker is not that bad. It's not a Wii U game. But it, you could buy it. Yeah, yeah you buy could. Ocarina of Time, We're, we're going to talk about reissues of games later, so... But no, uh, my major question is, if you don't own a Wii U, other than money, why don't you? Like, if you have the means to go out and buy a Wii U, do it. You're not going to regret it. It is worth every, every cent. Mm-hmm. So that that's what I accomplished. All right, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Well, I played a nice uh, – a, a few good rounds of a ranked version of uh, Robot League. Uh, I played a lot of – that game we couldn't remember Every, everyone's gone to the rapture <laughs> which is, which i will have a review of are you, tomorrow are you sure that's um, the name positive yeah i i I'm, i i hope it is i, heard, I um, think that's a really beautiful game though it oh, is. that reminds me yes i have five days five reviews from Chachi she says over at insert coin to begin.com nice. that, that is that is correct so uh, and we're on tomorrow's day three <laughs> but uh but yeah, like like Bobby said, it's a beautiful game with just one tiny, itsy bitsy, minuscule. If you blink it, you miss it. Problem. Hmm. I'll discuss that in the uh, in the review tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and of course, I, I've been I've been uh, playing a also a very very soothing game of. Uh, Bloodborne, very very nonviolent version of it, with rainbows and and kittens. Are you hallucinating? Yes, because <laughs> I still haven't beaten that game yet. Um, and, and oh, good. No, I'm just so 
just so happy that I get to play this game. And and I feel nothing at all of anger or any sadness at all. Or anything of rage, me throwing my controller at the TV screen whenever it happens. Riz, save it for save it for the final battle today. <laughs> um. Oh, where where can they find that review that you're gonna post tomorrow? At insertcoinbegin.com. All right. Sorg, what did you achieve this week? Absolutely nothing in the way of video games because there was a Pod Camp Pittsburgh. Yay. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Not entirely true because I have been playing a little bit of 80s Mania Wrestling. It's a Ooh, yeah, uh, kind of yeah, a... And I know, Riz, you have too. And uh, we're actually going to have one of the guys behind the game. Um, it's available for iOS and Android. Uh, he's going to be on the Indie Mayhem show this week. So if you're on the live stream, stay, stay tuned to about 11 p.m. for that Eastern time. Or check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com later this week, and that, that should be up as well. And I'd, of course, share that over to Insert Coin to begin. Right, Riz? Right. So it's a fun game. It is a fun game. It's like kind of a – I'm just through the tutorial to kind of figure the game out. I, again, I haven't had all that much time to do it. Uh, but, uh, but no, it, it, it's pretty fun, and I can't wait to talk to this guy later today. Mm-hmm. So, Bobby? I have been uh, I've been pretty intent on Fallout Shelter. I pl- I can't put it down. I can't put it down. I had I had up to twenty eight dwellers in my Fallout Shelter, and um, they were all going pretty good. We were we were pretty good. Then the raiders hit, and I lost all but eight. <laughs> Everybody died, and I didn't have enough caps to bring them back, so I was sad about that. But now we're running at a 91% happiness, and, and we're all good. Um, I And actually, the game made me go back and play a little bit of Fallout 3 over the weekend, mm-hmm. which I haven't played that in a long time. I, I, I never went back and finished it, so I might try to finish it, but then I got stuck. There was a glitch in the game, and I couldn't finish the one part. I couldn't get out of the one menu, the, the Pip-Boy menu. Um, but... I also played some Destiny this weekend. Went back into that. Uh, was and Dinklage still there? He was still there. Yeah, Dinklage uh, is still there. Uh, I think they're gonna. Uh, that little guy. I think they're gonna wipe the Dink, uh, Dinklage from our memory for, uh, during the Taken King. Wipe so, the dink. The dink. Wipe the dink. <laughs> as you as you were. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. Mainly, mainly Fallout uh, Shelter, and it's kind of like taking me away from the Simpsons, which is a good thing, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> for me. All right. Chach, you wanna take us around the net? It's now yeah. time for video game TV. Yeah. Yeah. It's from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Oh, wow, that's a good one. You you okay um, over there? I, I I'm good. I, I put a lot into it. Uh, I kinda of phoned it in the past couple of weeks, so I figured I should uh should Kick it up a notch this week. Uh, first up, a Zelda fan spent two years building the Hyrule Castle from Twilight Princess out of Legos. Um, he said that it is, when you break it down, it's 40 uh, transportable pieces. It took. That's amazing. Yeah, it took uh, two cars to take it to the, the show in Virginia. Uh, there's a YouTube video over at insertcoinbegin.com where you can check out the interview and find out all the intricate details. That, uh, Can't. Can you put that into Lego Dimensions? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, it, it, just because uh, the amount of pieces he had to custom order, Jeez. It, it was, he said that it was rather expensive. Uh, the, little, so you, the little brother in me wants to run through that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kool-Aid man. It. I would make room in my apartment for it. Oh, yeah. Um, Be a good next for up. the uh, Nerdzeum here. Yeah. Next up, Fallout 4 is, uh, how do I put this? Getting advertising in... Uh, uh, it's Fallout, Fallout Shelter. Nope, no, nope, Fallout. nope. Well, Fallout Shelter, Fallout, Boy, or Fallout, Fallout 4, they're both getting... The, the series is getting advertising in weird places. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fallout Shelter is available on Tinder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, swipe it's not right. the creepiest part. No. No, so yeah. you can, uh, Fallout swipe 4. right for that. Uh, Fallout 4 gameplay footage was found and uploaded on, how do we say, adult video sites. Yeah. yeah. Um, on one that 
I, I'm just gonna call um. Hot, um, hot death claw on death claw action. <laughs> yeah. Um. On over on um. Uh. You can you can see uh, Fallout Four gameplay. It's uh, still there. Yeah, it is. I I did a search because. <clears throat> is that the uh, the uh, Hasbro network that was on TV, Hub TV? Yes. Yes. Um, the Hub. I uh, I was gonna actually use a screenshot of the the search, and then I'm like, no, because this requires so much <laughs> editing to to block out what it is that it wouldn't even be worth it. Um, so yeah, if you if you go over to the Hub, um, and if you're able to decipher what that means, and then you do a search. Or Fallout 4, you can see uh, gameplay footage. Please, please have nobody around you when you do it. Yeah, safe, I would, safe search off. Yeah, I, yeah safe search <laughs> off. I would not uh, do it in public, and I don't recommend anyone uh, younger doing it. Nope. So, uh, last but not least, uh, YouTube user Comedy Knife went around and said hello to 100 people this in the five. Um, to see what kind of results he would get. And, you know, I would like to say that he wasn't surprised by the results he got because, I mean, it's GTA V. But, and you get shot at for just driving past someone in this game online. So, uh, yeah, uh, go over and check it out. It is hilarious. <laughs> My favorite part was when he's like, he saw the guy with the vest and he's like, I love your vest. Yeah. It's magical. <laughs> I mean, after a while, he just started having fun with it, yeah. more than just walking up and saying hello. Uh, because, like, for the first bit, it's seriously him going past people saying hello and begging them not to kill him. <laughs> yep. Uh, it so, never works either. It just... No, it doesn't. Uh, it's six <laughs> minutes and 41 seconds long. I am not going to lie. I watched all six minutes and 41 <laughs> yeah, seconds of this. So did I. And you should, because it's hilarious. <laughs> And uh, that is all I have for you this week on Video Game Theme Things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Right to you, Bobby. I almost broke the internet with that. Uh, yeah. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it like, stopped for a second. Oh. All right. Uh, now it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Uh, the first item up for bid. Are you a fan of all things gaming and Sony? Uh, well, we got some news for you. This December uh -huh. 5th and 6th in San Francisco, Sony will hold its PlayStation Experience event for 2015. Uh, this could be why there wasn't much Sony presence at Gamescom and why they didn't hold a press conference. Uh, the event, la which last year was held in Las Vegas, uh, will feature panels, keynotes, and a Capcom, uh, Capcom Cup Street Fighter tournament. I will not be entering to defend my Chachi Plays title at that <laughs> event. Uh, why not? Why not? I, I made everyone else defend their title. I know yes, you didn't make me defend my title, so I'm, yeah. I'm so retired. Next, so I'm retired. No, no, I'm no. retired from Street next Fighter games because I don't have the system. It's on, Riz. You you fell asleep. I did. Next year, it's a <laughs> dumb. No, okay, you're allowed to fall asleep. <laughs> All right. Even even more details of the uh, PlayStation PlayStation experience will be revealed as they get closer to the event. My question to you guys is, was it a good choice for Sony to skip Gamescom uh, for their um, own event, or do you think they let Xbox uh, gain a little bit of ground by fe being featured at Gamescom? Because Xbox uh, pretty much was featured at Gamescom. The first first thing we have to recognize is uh, they're not waiting until December. Uh, in their, in their uh, speech of why they're not doing it in, at Gamescom, mm -hmm. they're waiting until uh, Par uh, Paris Video Game... In, oh, okay. In October, uh, <clears throat> which I think is they will they will showcase some stuff. Yeah, I don't think they're going to give everything out. They're not going to get everything yeah. away until all of their eyes, all of our eyes, are on their press conference. Yep, exactly. Like, I don't even think they showed nearly enough at E3. I, but I think with Gamescom, everybody got a little bit more excited about Xbox stuff. I know people were like really praising Xbox as far as like that conference went because mm -hmm. they really showed off some really good stuff that like turned a lot of heads. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's a it's a video game conference. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy it either way. Yeah, I, and I mean I'm sure if Sony was there too, they they would have turned oh, heads yeah. as well with some of the stuff they have planned. But you know, they they kind of let 
Sony have or Xbox have the spotlight for a little bit at least. So it, it, December is a long way away still. Yeah. So there's probably going to be a lot of new stuff, even not mentioned mentioned at all at E3. Maybe even some stuff that is getting released soon. So uh, Nintendo's also going to have an event at a uh, pre-event at PAX, I think. They said. Yeah, that's the thing with these. They really have to pick and choose. I mean, how many people were yeah. pulling out and, and and doing various different things around E3? It's not just E3 anymore. Um, mm-hmm. Again, especially worldwide, you talk about a, you talked about a Paris conference. So, and it's also kind of taking the bets. Maybe they lost the bet, but maybe they're gonna. I mean, mm-hmm. when they take over and do the the, the Sony experience, what's Microsoft going to do against them? They yeah. don't have a conference, perhaps, or maybe they just do something else. I don't know. To uh, another thing, it. Microsoft really needed to push because they fell way behind uh, as far as sales go when the Xbox and PlayStation Four came out. Oh yeah. So they got some ground to, to make up. So, and uh, and oh, like I, I every time I, th- I, I Pax got an awesome deal. They're getting getting Nintendo now, mm-hmm. getting some exclusive Nintendo stuff. Because now with you know everybody waiting on other games, <clears throat> Zelda, uh, <laughs> there and and the NX, we're gonna find out more about that maybe at Pax, but. Uh-uh. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe some, you know, some specs. Maybe some little hints at when things are going to happen. Soon. Pax is like the Penny Arcade guys are probably so happy right now. They 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 can't even lose mm-hmm. in this deal because they know people are going to watch their streams. They know they people are going to watch that. You know, people are going to look at their website. They're going to do everything else because Nintendo's there. They want to see what Nintendo does. And and who and PlayStation says, okay, we're going to do our own thing. Okay. <sighs> Can't wait. All right. A uh, pretty cool trailer was released today uh, for the new Mad Max game. It's coming out on September 1st. In the trailer, which can be found on Mad Max's YouTube page, uh, it's basically a mini choose-your-own-adventure uh, to show off some of the choices you can make in the game. The first part of the trailer has you choose whether to go heavy, go loud, or go mad. Uh, in my walkthrough, I chose to go heavy, which showed an epic car battle, uh, chase, car chase slash battle uh, with, a, with a truck or a heavier vehicle. Uh, next, you're tasked with uh, choosing to soften the perimeter with uh, the main antagonist, whose name is Scrotus, by the way, <laughs> and his forces, uh, by fighting from a distance, up close and personal, or getting creative. I chose to fight from a distance, which shows Ma- uh, Max taking out targets with a sniper rifle. Uh, next, your task with destroying catapults by uh, either using some muscle, making a statement, or bringing some chaos. I chose to use some muscle with a beefed-up car called the Ripper, which is available for free to those who pre-order the game. Uh, is this a neat way to present a trailer, or will you reserve judgment until the game comes out? It, it's just three. Th- it's just nine things that they just. Show. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a small fraction still, of what you can choose, but they're just showing you have choices. Mm-hmm. Okay, first of all, first of all, from what I'm seeing, the game looks amazing. Second of all, can I also geek out because I realize what they're doing for the Choose Your Adventure on here? <laughs> I mean, it's all one YouTube video, and they make it clickable, and it pops to other places, and they completely do a Choose Your Own Adventure in the one yeah. YouTube video. That's fun. Mm-hmm. So props to them for that marketing tool. Um, but no, it looks great, and I think that's a really inventive way to do it. You know, it's yeah, it's 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 just only it's only showing a few things. It's it's, but I think it gives you the idea uh, and the feel of what's going on here from the little bit I'm seeing of this. If the game is half as good as Fury Road, it's going to be awesome because <laughs> Fury Road was like one of the best movies of the year, as far as I'm concerned. It was great. So, yeah, but but see, that's where we're off on the right track, on the wrong track here. You saw the movie, so you're probably going to play the game. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen the movie. You so, well, well, we're not talking about the movies. We're talking it's about out on digital, Riz. 
Watch it. Well, also, is this game an adaptation of the movie, or is it its own thing I in the universe? Think, I mean, I think it's yeah, I think it's its own thing. In you the, don't in do an universe. adaptation and release it six months later, or whenever the heck this mm -hmm. is coming out. Yeah. Um, and I think that's more interesting and and okay that they're doing it later because maybe more people will have seen it and gotten more excited about it because of that word of mouth that there is around mm -hmm. Mad Max. And uh, when it comes out on all these different formats, HBO, whatever, there's more reason like. Yeah, I want to get into this a little more and maybe check this game out if it's been reviewed well by then. It, it's a different, it's a different uh, antagonist in the game as it was in the movie. Scrotus. Scrotus. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. This I just like to be called Scrotus. It's uh, almost like the POTUS, only Scrotus. Uh, Chachi, any word. thoughts? Uh, not really. I am. Um... It's not really something I think that needed to be done. Okay. Um, I, I, I mean, hey, you guys seem really excited about it, so they must have done something right. Mm -hmm. I, yes, I, that's, I they, like, they made a YouTube video that's clickable in a very inventive way. It got my attention. I, I, I've seen that before, <laughs> though. That's, that's yeah. nothing new. Um, I feel yeah. like a game trailer, though. I haven't seen anything like that. Well, I mean, I've seen entire games be done that way yeah. on YouTube. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, I, not really my thing, but it got you guys excited. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, they, they did something right. And I'm sure mm -hmm. lots of other people are excited about this. So, I mean, sounds like some Sounds like somebody else needs to see Fury Road. <laughs> I, I've never been a Mad Max fan. <laughs> yeah. Me either. Uh, Me either. I've never seen a Mad Max. And then I, I went to see Fury Road and it was just... I, 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 I'm afraid to look because I'm, I'm sure it's not going to hold up, but I was a huge fan of the uh, uh, Beyond Thunderdome <laughs> movie as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, and also the California Love video based on it. <laughs> <laughs> just walk away. But let's be serious. Walk Who was away. it? Who was <laughs> it? <laughs> That's the second one. I won't right. play it. I won't play it because I know YouTube will stop it because I did it too. Because I played uh, California Love in front of my in front of my uh, pod camp session, and now I have a takedown thingy. Uh, uh, so we're not doing whoa. that during this show. Um, so <laughs> so uh, me me singing the uh, first part is pretty good then, right? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. You only that's get like ten seconds. So. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, so I'm safe. Good. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of trailers. Microsoft released a new version of their hauntingly beautiful Mad World trailer uh, for the Gears of War's Ultimate Edition, which comes to the Xbox One on August 25th. In the trailer, the song Mad World plays just as it did in the original iconic TV spot, uh, but this time it's updated with the great-looking graphics overhaul of the Ultimate Edition. That's awesome. Uh, also, if you buy the Ultimate Edition of Gears of War from August 25th through December 31st, you can get the entire Gears saga, which is Gears of War, one, two, three, and Judgment for free via Xbox backwards compatibility. So that's really cool, I think. Uh, and if you have the games, whatever. <laughs> I, have, I have most of the games. Wow. So, wow. Bob, okay, Bobby. Wait I up. mean, I, if I, I, th this game looks so cool and like mm -hmm. high, at ultra high def. It does. Like, compared and, and, with that trailer. And that game looked so amazing to begin mm -hmm. with, you know, mm -hmm. that, that it's that much more. I mean, I'm uh, I really wish I had the volume on this because, like, I love, love, mm -hmm. love the Mad World uh, video game commercial. That was, like, one of the best commercials ever released, mm -hmm. I think. So, But um, also announced for the PS4, the Nathan Drake Collection. Uh, this collection will bundle all three Uncharted games and bring them to the PS4. Uh, but the collection will feature some enhancements uh, to each game. Naughty Dog and port developer Bluepoint Games are adding three additional modes of play to the three games. Uh, Explorer mode makes combat much easier so beginners and casual fans can comfortably step into Nathan Drake's shoes. Uh, Speedrun doesn't change the game but slaps a timer on the screen so players can track how quickly they're making it through the game. And most skilled play Uncharted fans will have a new challenge, Brutal Difficulty Mode. Which oh, is even God. tougher than the existing crushing setting. It, the key to this is it's unlocked in the game only after finishing the game's uh, crushing uh, setting. So you have to finish the game in crushing in order to unlock Brutal. Not um, going to do that one. Yeah, uh, The Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection will bring the PlayStation 3's Uncharted games to PlayStation 4 in 1080p at 60 frames per second when it launches on October 9th for $59.99. 
The package will also include uh, access to the multiplayer beta for Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. That I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, like for for and, the price of one game, you get all three games. Plus the multiplayer beta. And a, yeah, and the multiplayer so, and the beta. So both both sets have at least four games with it. Mm-hmm. Or three games. Three games and an and add-on. So, um, mm-hmm. But... My question is to you guys: Do you th- do we need to re-release games, even if it's a collection of games, uh, a bundle, of, <clears throat> if you will, um, for new systems? Since backwards compatibility, compatibility and cloud streaming are a thing. Well, mm, you know, no, no they're collections. enhancing. They're en- enhancing the graphics, and it's they're dramatic. Not, they're they're well, not see, a thing for all things. That's right. Like, well, PlayStation does have their cloud. Gaming. System. They do. They do but have. They don't have every game on it, though. Yeah. Um, um, and Xbox. Answer, oh, good. To answer your question. Mm-hmm. Mass Effect. Yeah. There, there is no Mass Effect on PlayStation Four or Xbox One, unless you go through uh, backwards compatibility with your mm-hmm. Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. But it's not out yet. <laughs> it's not out yet. But if they had an ultimate collection for PlayStation. Or it, that's that's one system. That's one uh, company that needs it right now. The Mass Effect franchise needs that to happen now, until when their game comes out. So everybody's all so in, mm-hmm. strapped in tight, and ready for whatever whatever the hell is going to happen. Isn't that coming out 2016. Yes. So we have a year. What? What? They can get you know, it out by can, then. You, they can get it out by a year. You'll be done within four months, and you're just waiting. You're, you're and you're going to be waiting. You're going to have your characters all settled. You're going to have your storyline driven, probably like around what you chose. And I don't know if it's going to be a story based off what your choices were in one, two, and three, but. It's gonna be. It it should happen. It it, it should it it sh- like for for games that are story based, like I don't know maybe like if Skyrim or Skyrim didn't have like, or oh, the other schools have <laughs> have their collection out, that wouldn't work as much because you don't have that continued mm-hmm. value of playing those games. Wait, what? I mean, there's continued value in Skyrim. Storyline based. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. It doesn't go from game to game choosing, oh, well, you chose to be this guy, so you're going to do this. No, it, it, but, but yeah, some games still need to be out there for PlayStation users like me. <laughs> Any thoughts on this, guys? Well, on 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 the on the thought of the um just just kind of you know okay so so the uncharted it's 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 all in one package and you say that the parts mm-hmm. of it are available on the on the store it's just a repackaging it's a rebundling you can buy you can buy all the lord of the rings books in one way or another but you can also buy the box that has all of them right true in a fancy true. package and that's what this is happening it, it is the same kind of concept here i think so Re- repurposing games to get more money. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, speaking of spending money on awesome things, how about, some pizza? how about some pizza? How about some pizza from Slice on Broadway? The fantastic people down here in Beachview, in the South Hills, and South uh, of Pittsburgh, and City Limits on Broadway Avenue, uh, right along the tracks. We're down on Main Street in Carnegie, PA. They've been supporting. They've been supporting the. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Riz just walked away. Riz just walked away from this podcast, and he just—I think he's gonna go. I think somebody's at his door with slice on Broadway. That's that's. I think he just went to get pizza. That's that's it. He's just like, I got it. I gotta get some. I gotta get Not some pizza. of this. Uh, but he can only get some if he's in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, <laughs> precise on Broadway. Uh, support the uh, Pittsburgh podcasting with the pe- perfect pepperoni pizza. Thank you so much to those guys. For helping out Sorgatron Media and our podcast, including Bass Boss Battle, check them out sliceonbroadway.com. 
SorgatronMedia.com now with less professional wrestling. Seeing Mike Tyson get excited about wrestling is like seeing that John Cena kid I talked about a few weeks ago at WWE Live get excited when John Cena comes out. Okay, same thing. Just the light in the eyes of a childlike wonder. That was Will, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was me. Like, oh, I'm walking down downtown or something like that. Or, hey, I'm sitting here doing a podcast thing. Or I'm sitting at the coffee shop earlier. I'll just take the thing, put it up against my chest. I feel the buzz. It's recording. I look around, do whatever. Maybe I'll do some more motion. Uh, Sorgatron Media is the greatest YouTube channel mm-hmm. yeah. uh, for podcasts. Yes, ma'am. And other material, followed by Epic Meal Time. So. That's the best food-related one, right? So and, anyway. and, and followed by PewDiePie, just just put it out there. And only, only recently has he joined the list. You know, our mindsets going up the way marketplaces are unlocking and enabling. Why spend that thirty grand a year to get that major you never want to use? When you can spend a fraction of it to learn something that you really love. And the beauty of the and I call it the passion economy. I'm familiar with yoga. I've done the DDP yoga, bro, and right. I cannot do that. I tried it though. <laughs> no. I actually just taught Palace how to do this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I can teach you. You think so? Yeah. Oh. Well, well ne- by by next show. I'm rusty. By next show. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Last week, the American Psychology Association published a report affirming that video games are linked with aggression. Uh, The study, which was a meta-analysis of other works conducted on aggression as a result of gaming, uh, reaffirmed that the link exists between the two. The study does say that there is no apparent link to violent action, however, which is a good thing. Uh, Recently, over 200 psychology professors spoke out on the APA's methods, though. Uh, Stetson University psychology professors spoke out on the AP. Or wait, oops, I lost my place. Uh, Stetson University psychology professor Chris Ferguson, one of the approximately 230 academics who signed the open letter to the APA, reached out to a uh, game informer to share his concerns over the task report or task force report. He identifies issues with the group conducting the research audit and findings. He says. Indeed, the evidence linking video games to aggression is honestly a lot clear, or a lot less clear than the APA report would have one believe. There are increasing, there are an increasing number of studies coming out now that suggest there is no link whatsoever. Uh, further, the task force appeared to have been selected from among scholars with clear anti-media views. <laughs> uh, Ferguson went on to say that uh, one of the seven task force members. Oh wait, that, yeah, but that of the seven task force members. Four had anti-media leanings with another that uses aggression measures that have been called into question by some factions of the psychological community. He also notes that all seven members of the task force were over the age of 50. Surprise! (laughs) Uh, further Further, the APA policy indicates that the group would work with video game developers and publishers to address connections between consumption of video game violence and aggression and uh, violence. More on this article can be found at GameInformer.com, which brings us to our final round question, guys. Do you agree with the claim that violent vi- games lead to aggression and not violence, or do you think that the study was unfairly done? Who wants to go first? Who wants to say yes first? <laughs> Joshy. The study is not – no, the study is bullshit. Yeah. It, this, is, this is pretty much like saying that all drunks fall down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Alcohol does not lead to falling. Video games do not lead to violence. Uh, It does not increase aggression. These are all hearsay, and it is ridiculous. Um, You can study a handful of people and find 15 different results for anything. Mm -hmm. I mean... Four out of five doctors choose uh, Trident over... Yeah, and only because the one was attacked. Yeah, by a squirrel. Right. I, I mean, we, we've all seen that commercial. Who was aggressive because of video games? Right. The yeah, the, the, the squirrel. It was Conker. It was Conker. 
So I mean, we, the report. We, yeah, the, the report is right. Wait, it is. Yeah, no, it's not right. <laughs> We've don't all even, changed our views. Don't it's, even, don't even listen. I, I no, that is complete it, BS. And uh, to tell, and even Game Game Informer pointed out that the the people running the report were biased. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. They don't play video games to begin with. They're all over fifty. Right. <laughs> Which you need you need some some discretion or like discrepancies in there. But you need you need to have some younger people, some older people. You need a lot of demographics. Well, you can't you just pull younger, from one. The thing is, if you, I, I'm pretty sure those guys probably did try. If they did try to find somebody to do this study that was our age or older. They would have just looked at them and told them they're fucking idiots. I'm sorry I swore, but that's pretty much it. They probably just said, "Hey, what? What? Why? Why? Why are we doing this study now?" Who Talking cares? about violent video games leading to regression. <laughs> well, it's we've been talking about this, I believe, every year, at mm -hmm. least once every year on this podcast. Yeah. That's Pretty much. And we've all had the same response of, no, this does not cause violence. If it's true that violent video games cause violence, sports video games cause people to do sports things. And I've run one yard for – one carry for one yard one time. I slam dunk the other it. day, but I was playing basketball – or I was playing uh, football or soccer. I, so. I played Tetris earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm not running out to build a wall. Mm -mm. But when you get so far on the wall, it actually collapses, though. <laughs> wow. Uh, but c seriously, this is stupid. Mm -hmm. this, this, and they probably picked five old or however many old guys to do this study because they know they know something about science at least get a cross section of different people different demographics oh, no, do it it no, was five it. crusty old white dudes yeah do it do it family feud style if you have to we surveyed 100 people <laughs> this is what they said so if we put this out <laughs> ding, ding. all right that is going to do it for us this week uh, you can follow us on twitter at Bobby, you made me angry I'm sorry. I hope you're happy, Bobby. I swore on this. Well, if I you're angry, you. if you're angry, let us know. You can follow us on on Twitter at Insert Coin to Begin. Tweet us with your anger issues here. Uh, you can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin dot com. New articles going up daily. Chachi, you have your reviews going on all week. Yep. Riz is going to have five his days, review. Five days, mm -hmm. five reviews. All right, uh, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night on Live dot at eight o'clock. Sorg plugs. Do all the things, but especially podcampitsburg.com. There's so many videos I'm talking about podcasting. Uh, and, uh, and and there's a few other things there, too. Uh, talking about basic Sorgonomics. Talking about uh, everything geeky over at SorgatronMedia.com. And, of course, the new IndieWrestling.us, which is a That's site I, plug. I plugged <laughs> and only Everybody. I put together. Well, no, I had friends put it together. But of, of the four of us, I'm the one that <laughs> put it together. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, but anyways, uh, the, 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 check out all that stuff. And, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what you guys come and have coming up in the next week on insert coin All right. Uh, Chachi plugs. Chachi says on the Twitters, insert coin to begin .com, Look at all of the things. All right. Riz plugs. Riz plugs. Um, Riz plays game. New wrestling .us. <laughs> hey, hey, that was last week. Oh. Uh, I actually got a Twitch account for Riz Plays Games at Riz, Riz, Games. Riz Plays Games. Swallow Riz Plays Games at Riz Plays Games. He plays games. That's Who right, plays right. games? Riz Plays Games. And go to the YouTube page, Riz Plays Games, where I actually did something spectacular. Hey, I want to plug uh, Riz Plays Games over on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Riz Plays Games. All right. Oh, and. Again? YouTube.com slash Riz Plays Games. How do you spell that? R I Z Z P L A Y S G A M E S. All right. Yes. And I'm at Bobby FJ Town on, on Twitter. You, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to plug uh, 
Fallout, Fallout Shelter. Yeah, no, Bobby wants to play Riz. Wants oh, to play, yeah, I want to plug Riz Plays Games as well. Riz Plays yeah. Games. And I want to plug Fallout Shelter and Mad Max Fury Road because everybody needs to see that. All right, game over, everybody. Game over, game over. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.